everyone, welcome back to France for episode 5, I think now, of the Big Breakfast Challenge. And as you can see, we are once again beginning the episode by coming down to the animal dealer to sell some hay bales. Oh yes, I have been busy working on the old contracts here, where are they? Uh, down here. We have completed, uh, let's see, field 38 and field 39 are fully complete now. So we'll cash both of those out. And we've still got 52 to do later on, but uh, we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, all we need to do with that actually is mow, so any bales we get off that are going to be ours in their entirety. Uh, what else have we got? We haven't picked up any more contracts, but there are quite a few going on down here. Uh, most of them, it seems to be baling season at the moment, so yeah... That is not a surprise. Um, like I said, I don't want to do too many of them on camera because you know, you've know you seen me mowing a little bit and stuff, but uh, I always want to show you the results so you know what's going on. But yes, yeah, so we are going to sell all of these here and see what our total ends up as. Excellent. Uh, we lost 83 euros for the um, environmental score, but that's okay. And somehow we've ended up with exactly $9,500. Which is not the worst thing in the world, because we are going to need to uh, swing by the store here to do some stuff. Now, uh, let's see, why am I coming around the back again? There was a reason I was coming around here, and I've forgotten exactly what it was. Oh, yes, uh, we are going to purchase some... where is it? Uh, some big bags of fertilizer this time. Uh, fertilizer, fertilizer, there we go. A uh, thousand litres of each, so we are going to get uh, two bags of that. One for the big greenhouse and one for our spreader. Now both of those we can pop up on there ourselves. And the other thing is a stack of pallets for said same thing. Uh, where is it now? Ah uh, yes, 500 euros for a pile of pallets. There's a hundred, a uh, thousand litres of pallets. I don't know if we'll be able to pick those up by hand or not. We shall see. If I back out all the way quick, there we are. Now if I have to, I can always pick them up with the bale spikes probably. It's not ideal, but if we can, then we can. These I know I can, because they are part of that, uh, uh, what's it pack? Uh, the liftable stuff by uh, Yoast Modding. Okay, so we'll plonk both of these on. And can we pick this up? No, we cannot. It is only just a bit too heavy, which is annoying, but let's jack that up, oh dear, there we go, lovely. So we'll grab that quick with the, uh, what's it, forks, and we have an interesting mission on today. Uh, obviously one of the things we need to do is fertilise our fields, but uh, while we have, I'm just going to keep that on there for now, uh, while we have, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, a little bit of time where I'd put the uh, stuff in the greenhouse from last time uh, where are we? Yes, if I could get my words out uh, this here greenhouse the coffee beans has gone absolutely bonkers and we're going to see about that in just a moment exactly what's gone on with that uh, so yeah, I'm going to run up to the uh, back to the farm because we need to uh, deal with that quite early today because that is going to benefit us. Oh, crumbs. Strap that lot down. Uh, yeah, that is going to drive us into a van and it's all gone quite wrong. But I shouldn't be surprised really, should I? <laughs> okay, so come on, pick it up. It's not attached to anything. There we go. I completely flubbed that. Okay, now you're strapped on. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back to the farm and we'll see you up there in a minute and uh, uh, yeah, we'll see exactly what those greenhouses have been getting up to in the course of the October to November transition. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so here we are back up at the farm now. I've done some shunting around of equipment, and this is the problem that I now have. Yes. I'd um, filled up another tank of water and dropped off in there so it had another 5,000 litres. It's used all the water and a large chunk of the fertiliser that was in there, liquid fertiliser. And I've got many boxes of coffee beans already. Yes, there are in fact uh, 369, 3618. Uh, quite a lot of coffee beans there. 18, like, there's like 24 boxes of coffee beans. So what we're going to do is uh, go and sell some, I think. Because we can get some good money for them. Can't see through there. Now they are a thousand litres a pallet. But they are quite heavy and apparently I can't lift uh, two at a time with this thing. Cracky, they are heavy. Yeah, that's not gone well, has it? Okay, so I'm going to have to lift these one at a time. Is that what we're saying? Oh, don't tip over, please. All I want to do is get my thing out. There we go. Cracky, how much do they weigh? Oh, wow, they weigh a ton and a bit each. Yeah, that's no surprise I can't do that then. So, let's see if we can at least get one off at a time. Oh, crumbs, no. It's not gone well, has it? <laughs> if I... Uh, going to course, another one has popped out already. If I can at least pick that up on there, can I... Crikey, that is... That is going to be a pain in the bum to load like that. One pallet at a time. Because I can extend it over there, fortunately. But yeah, trying to get... Um, oh, and it's all come off the pallet fork as well, hasn't it? Oh, that's not good. Let's see if I can... Okay, there we go, that's got it sorted. Came back a bit further than I'd wanted, but it is back nonetheless. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be quite difficult with um, this little thing because it does not have the weight on the back to really deal with this. However, that is potentially not as big of a problem as it may first seem. Now, you are probably thinking, Felton, you're making it all up. You're just talking rubbish now, you silly person. But that's not quite as bad as I may be making it out to be. Uh, yes, so obviously, I think I'm just going to do these two and uh, call it good, because that is quite a lot. Wow, okay, why has it just gone straight through the uh, pallet like that? I don't know. Am I going to have to drop that off again? Okay, there we go, we got two. Uh, but yes, if we pop into the shop menu now and check out the sales, this jobby is still on sale, and that will fit our tractor. So, uh, there's also this tedder which is also on sale which i'm hopefully going to buy so what i'm going to do is we're going to purchase this now uh we'll get the yeah we'll get that one i think that will be the uh, the one to get so we'll buy that now now i'm going to have to take the tractor down to the shop to pick that up and get the thing fitted on it and get a weight for it as well so, uh, what we are going to do is, where are we, Let's see if I can, oh, it probably doesn't help that those things are so far out either. 
We'll see if we can get these two pallets off. Oh, on rather. Just these two here. Okay, if we can get those two onto the uh, trailer, that will be perfect. Because these raw coffee beans sell for an absolutely manic amount. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way, but they apparently sell for more than the um, roasted coffee sells for. Although that's not um, what we are going to... This, this technically doesn't count towards the... Um, uh, the big breakfast challenge because obviously we have to roast it but I mean if I can make money just selling the beans then the unroasted beans then why not eh? I, I don't think that's a problem I don't see that as a bad thing it just obviously doesn't count towards the uh, actual thing itself the, the challenge itself which I'm perfectly fine with to be honest but it is going to be a bit of an effort because yeah, it seemed, and it could be this pallet fork because it's a um, skid steer and a modded one at that. It could be it's just causing a few issues. Although to be fair, those yeah, those weren't too bad. But uh, if we yeah, I'm just going to pop this down here for now, and we'll hop in this, strap these two things down. Yeah, I had no idea they were weighing 1.1 tons each <laughs> we may even have to get a different trailer depending on how I uh, load this in the future because if I overload this we may have a tractor lifting problem as well <laughs> oh dear okay spin this around and yep so I shall see you down at the shops momentarily uh, well we'll see you at the sale point because that's right next to the shops so I shall see you in town in just a little bit. We're going to make some money. <laughs> Alrighty, we are just coming into town now. And should be rolling up on the cell point fairly quickly. Just have to remember which... Uh, okay, yeah, I need to take a left here. Go around this building. I think this might actually be a one-way road. Yeah, it kind of is, I think. But, oh well, we're here. And I have an idea what I'm going to get for this. But I haven't actually checked today to see what the current price is. But it should be quite exciting. Uh, yeah, that was quite exciting. <laughs> 23... Well, 22 grand. Actually, it would have been about... 23 grand, except we lost 400 and some for uh, that pesky environmental bonus because our fields are not looking so good at the minute. But that is okay, we are going to be working on that. And uh, right now we need to get to the shop, which is just down here. Uh, but yeah, so that was 20 grand off of four crates, and we've probably got another. I mean, I, I think we could easily get away with selling another um, six crates, four, six, eight crates, maybe. Okay, so uh, first off, I need to drop this off here for a moment. Because we are going to need to do a couple of things around the front of the shop. Uh, and one of them is get the um, attachment installed on the tractor. In fact, we're going to need to get some more fuel soon. Is there a petrol station around here, I wonder? Curious. I don't actually know. I'm sure there is. But, for right now, we need to attach the front loader. And we're going to get the MX attachment on this, which puts all that lovely stuff on. And that is 1500, which is perfectly fine. And uh, we're going to run into the shop here. And we are going to purchase, with that money, we're going to get this. Because this is going to help us out in the long run. This uh, lovely Kuhn um, windrower. Now, I wasn't honestly expecting to get anything quite that big. The one I was looking at getting originally was this one, because it's only about six grand anyway. 
and that would have done fine for what we were doing but this one's on sale and it's a lot bigger <laughs> it's like nine meters instead of um i mean we could even buy both of them that, would that be a bit excessive do we really need the big one or oh, now i'm now i'm torn because we don't technically speaking need the big one but if i do that big mowing contract where is it this big one here on uh, field 51 that is a huge huge mowing contract if we did that then uh you know what yeah we're just going to get the big one because where's the oh there it is uh yeah we're just going to get the big one because it's not too big it's not massive i mean it's big enough but it's not uh, not like honking great big thing so we're going to get that and we are also going to need to get a weight because that coffee is heavy now it was 1.1 tons wasn't it so we are going to need to at least get a uh, good sized weight and i want one with a trailer hitch on it as well so let's see what options we've got i mean an agco one 1.5 ton agco weight would probably do yeah uh, do i have any more customizable ones no, oh, we've got the old concrete weight. I don't think... Oh, that does have a trailer hitch on it. That might be a bit on the high side, though. And it says it's a front weight. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's see what else we've got in here. Is there anything good? There is that one. And that's a potential. Comes with uh, lighting, if needed. And we'd want that to be... Uh, probably about like that, about that sort of size. That is quite the chunky weight. Yes, and we could have a little beacon on it. Yeah, that's, that's got potential. How much is the extra lighting? Yeah. I'm not sure we'd actually need all the extra lighting, but... Hmm. Should we get that? What colour options do we have? Oh, quite a lot. I don't think we have a uh, Renault orange. I think it was an orange. Yeah, probably something like that, wasn't it? But that's expensive, so we don't want that. Do we have... Oh, there's the enamel orange. It might be a bit dark. Or we could just go for a, a grey of some sort but not chrome or oh, just what's that water <laughs> interesting color dark gray it's all a bit shiny i don't think it needs to be massively shiny does it ah, galvanized steel okay hmm interesting we've got to uh, that's not a terrible choice you know what i think we'll get that one because that's a customizable weight so we can make it bigger or smaller depending on what we need so i think we'll get that there we go job jobbed and uh let's see we are also going to need front loader yeah that would have been hilarious wouldn't it if i got all the way back and forgot to take a pallet fork with me now the question is do i want the pallet forks or do i if i've even got it installed did they come with a pallet fork oh it does okay well i can get the pallet fork for that I was looking to see if I had a bag handler installed, and I don't seem to. Ah, well there you go. So in that case, uh, we're going to get this. Uh, we'll just keep it the standard colour. Lovely. Well, there we go. Okay, so let's grab our tractor and go pick up all our goodies and head back to the farm to load up some more of that uh, delicious coffee.
Now I'm almost tempted to get another thing of uh, liquid fertilizer while I'm here, but eh, maybe we'll wait on that and get that next time. Now which side has the, uh, I think this is the three point side, yes it is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that is quite a honkingly big weight. <laughs> I was not expecting to actually be doing this. I, I kind of wanted this front loader since it was on sale. But at the same time I was also kind of not going to worry about it because we weren't going to be lifting too much of anything large. Or so I thought. But it all seems to have gone quite well in the end. So yeah. Well, let's... Oh, bum. Okay, why is that not... Uh wanting to connect to that. Did I buy the wrong one or something? Hmm. Curious. I don't think I have to get out and pick it up or anything, do I? No, it is owned by me. Hmm. Why is that not connecting? There's nothing weird I have to press, is there? Don't have manual attach turned on or anything, no. Uh, detach, select camera, wire, hmm. Well, that's slightly worrying, isn't it? Okay, well, I'll have to see if I can push this around to the, uh, uh, uh what's it, to the front side and get it uh, adjusted to the alternate, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, other Euro attach option, I think it was. Uh, and see, uh, See what's going on, because that's weird. Oh, that's helpful, isn't it? Yes. I managed to get it stuck on the scenery. Mm. And we are back at the farm again. <laughs> we got the trailer back. Um, I managed to get the forks around to the front of the shop. And uh, luckily, as soon as I switched them over to the Euro attachment, they worked fine. So, quite why they weren't working with this front end, I don't know. But, uh, maybe they work as a Euro attachment for one, or the um, standard, the MX attachment for one of the other um, MX loader arms. So, let's see if this thing can handle two pallets at a time without being rude. Oh boy, yeah, you can see the uh, the weight on that when I picked it up. The way it's uh, started getting a bit light on the back end. Now, um, we're not going to sell all of these now because the price actually isn't the best that it could be. But I've decided uh, what we are going to do is sell at least um, a few pallets worth. Well, that happened. <laughs> okay then. Well, I'm glad I didn't have anything attached to that. Such as the um, little Avant. Because that could have been a bit awkward. Okay. Let's see. Now I just need to straighten up a bit and get uh, this one. Well, I guess we'll be putting these on the front end, hopefully. Can turn into it enough. Do I need to go down a bit? There we go. Okay. Yeah, now before I try anything naughty, I'm going to get out and strap these ones on. Oh, please. Oh, no, it's not strapped them on, has it? Oh, that's rude. Okay, they are slightly too far over the edge, I think. Okay, well, let's see what happens if we can... ever so gently... do this.
Okay, now will it let me? No, it won't strap over the top of them. It will strap over the top of those. Okay, so those are in the right position. I think those must just be slightly too far over them. Okay, not a problem. I shall ease them back slightly. Oh, crumbs is a tree there. Doesn't need to be much. No, don't push them that way, Feldin. Just like that ought to do it. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so uh, we now need to load up some of this. Now, this is going to be a bit tight with the uh, the tractor being not the smallest of vehicles to get in and out of here but I think I think I might be able to do it well enough that oh crikey that's gone a bit wrong okay that didn't go according to plan and that one is being all sorts of janky okay let's put this on the ground quick See if I can get out from under it. Come on. There we go. Not quite sure what happened there with that. And maybe because I came in at the angle there and it just didn't like it. Now I'm, I cannot see anything with these trees around here. Okay, there we go. That got it. Lovely. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to put two... I'm going to drive into the trailer. Curl it. Can you tell I'm not very good at this? <laughs> now, I know I'm putting more weight on the back axle, and that's probably not a smart idea. But I'm hoping, with those two at the front, and if I strap this quick... There we go, that should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple more loads popped on there. Uh, let's see, maybe if I take all the top ones off and just leave the... or a couple... Yeah, I'll figure something out. <laughs> and I'll see you down at the store in a second, because there's a couple more items that I want to purchase before we really get going. That's going to be a pest to get that out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so, yes, um, I shall manhandle this little lot in here and uh, see you all again down at the shop, hopefully with a trailer on its correct wheels and not, like, tipped over or anything weird. Although, I don't know, that might be fun to watch too. <laughs> And we are back, but slightly sooner than anticipated. And the reason for that is, as you can see, we've got the spreader on the back. Now, I decided, before we go and sell that stuff, we are going to hit the two fields quick with fertiliser. And the reason for that is, if we go to the environmental score section, uh, right now our two fields are looking a bit manky score-wise. Uh, we are low on nitrogen tillage weed control yeah we've got some things that we can uh, that we can do a bit better so i figure if we hit this quick with the old uh, uh, fertilizer spray then there's a chance we might actually get a slightly better environmental score or at least a bonus for when we sell rather than losing money now i don't know how much this is going to take I only bought the one bag because I was hoping it wasn't going to take an absolutely massive amount and I think we are I mean it's going to take a lot because this is the first application but it does look like that is uh, hopefully a fair bit better than it was uh, come, at, come at this field from this end quick Here. Yeah, we should have enough, which is good. Okay, 
back up this way and then we'll come back down that side and get the uh, the edge quick as well there we go lovely stuff so hopefully that is going to increase our yield uh, well it's, of course it's going to increase our yield I mean hopefully it's going to increase our uh, environmental score I'm just going to check this end of the field quick because it looked like I'd missed a line. I think that got it. Let's just back up there. Yeah, it's not actually activating it, so that's good. Well, it is sort of there, but it's not taking much off, so yeah. Okay, lovely. It looks like we are good to go. The old automatic spray rate and everything. It's not chucking out any more here than it needs to. Lovely. Cool. We'll turn that off. And uh, let's see. I might as well pop the rest of that bag in here. Uh, now, when I empty these out, they do come out as bags, but they don't come out as um, liftable bags, sadly. So what I'm doing is separating them a little bit. We've got the... Uh, um, the ones in here are the liftable ones, and that one over there by the wheel is a non-liftable one. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there we go. I'm going to zip down here, grab this again. Hopefully, oh, that weight's tipped over. That's not good. Can we still... Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yep, so I'm going to grab this and head back down to the shop now, and see you there. Right then, we are just coming up around the back of the shops here. Or the back of the houses and we are going to see how much more oh, don't tip over oh thank goodness <laughs> yeah we're going to see how much money we get for this it should be a fairly decent chunk of change if i'm honest oh crumbs that's not gone well okay let's pull up here it should start selling it's not going to sell the ones at the back is it Oh, uh, well, we still lost environmental money. Uh, well, maybe it'll tick over at the end of the month after we sleep. And um, we'll just sell the rest of that. And the rest of that. There we go. So we made in total a uh, solid 66 odd grand there, I think. Which is not terrible. I am not displeased with that at all. Uh, that is ridiculously good money, if I'm honest. come down to the shop and we'll have a look at what we are going to be purchasing now uh, where are we it's just around here isn't it yes now I figure since we're back here again I might as well grab another one of the um, fertilizer uh, sets I might even buy two that way we can just fill it up and set it going later on and be fine so let's have a look uh, pallets we might as well get those now <laughs> okay liquid fertilizer drums we've got 1200 euros for 1500 liters fantastic mod very helpful it's not a lot cheaper but it's a slightly different it's a bit cheaper so we've got 3000 liters for 2400 versus the traditional one which is 3200 for 2000 so we kind of flipped the um price and the thing so actually it is a decent amount cheaper but i'm fine with that too <laughs> so uh yes what are we getting from here now uh one of the main things we need is a weeder so uh let's see i'd had my eye on uh, where is it now? I know I saw one. Because we only need a small weeder. Was it that one? Six metres. Hose pull out small and medium weeds. Ah, well in that case we could get that one because that will do both. And it folds up and it's only 80 horsepower to run it. 
that would actually work. I wasn't necessarily expecting to get one quite like that straight away. Uh, I was potentially, I think, looking at one of these little cheap ones, which just do small weeds. But, um, maybe it's worth going for that slightly bigger one then. Yeah, I mean, that's, well, that is six metres. And it does have a seeding option if we ever want to do canola at six metres. An extra four grand, we can plonk a seeder on it. Mm -hmm. That will only do small weeds, though. Whereas if I get this one for 12 grand, that will do all the weeds. That is a hoe that does small and medium weeds. Hmm. What do we think? Which one should we go for? Hmm. Well, we're not likely to be planting canola anytime soon that I can think of. But, hmm, I think we're going to get this one. Eh, no, nah, let's just get the big one. <laughs> we don't need anything that seeds at the minute. So, yeah, we'll get this. I think this is a Spanish brand, Madara Agro. And obviously we're in France, so Spain is just around the corner. Uh, and what else was I going to... Was that all I was going to get? Oh, now how am I going to get that back? It's just occurred to me that... Uh, well, maybe I can lift it up with the uh, front forks and pop it on the trailer. That might work. Let's have a quick look and see. Are you going to let me if I come at you from this angle? Or are you just going to push it away? Oh, no, I'm under there. Oh, okay. We've sort of lifted it up. This is not necessarily how you're supposed to do it, kids, but this is the way we're going to do it. Because we can. Okay, now if I'm very careful with this. Now we're not going to have a lot of room for that uh, other stuff, so if I get this down on the one side. Tiny bit further, there we go. Please don't roll away. Okay. And then we can get this stuff on and head back to the old farm. Now, I did have a few minor hiccups with the, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? Um, uh, the picking up of the, uh, uh, the uh, pallets of coffee beans. They, they were mildly inconvenient. <laughs> But uh, I think we managed to get it sorted without too much nonsense in the end. Uh, I even managed to sneakily grab a couple of those ones that were behind the trees. That was a very daring attempt and I probably should not have tried it. But, uh, oh, don't be rude. There we go. Let me just reverse our trailer out of the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, I did have, there was one that actually flipped right over on me. Uh, I managed to turn that back over, but I think it was a combination of just the angles, maybe the way they'd spawned, because um, I think I have a mod on that makes stuff stack when it spawns now, rather than just spawning on one level and that being it. But there we go, so uh, I'm going to pop this on here. that line up a little bit and just move that on a tiny bit further in the hopes that I can strap it down. Uh, where are we? No, I don't think that's on quite far enough. Give it a gentle nudge. There we go, that should be on far enough now. Check the back one. Yep, that goes over. And that goes over there. Lovely. And I'm digging myself in the back with the forks, but that's okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to get this back up to the farm and 
get the weeder sorted out and uh, we'll do a quick bit of weeding to end the episode I think I think that's going to be the way to do it yes alrighty we are back at the farm with our weeder it is attached there now let's unfold it and see how it does uh, as you can see I took the uh, forks off the front now as well because so I think we are done moving uh, coffee beans for a little while but we definitely need to get the weeds out of these fields so let's see how bad they are oh yeah you can see weeds all over this one particularly that one not quite so it's a little more I mean for my eyes anyway but uh, yeah now why does this say it needs rolling oh that one needs plowing that's the difference yep so I'll probably have to plow that at some point uh, although precision farming technically doesn't need you to plow every time or not every time but after certain crops like um, uh, the base game does I, I like to do it anyway because I think it's um, it's a necessary part of it because you know, uh, plowing does help the land when it's done periodically from what I understand so I say why not why not do a little bit of periodic plowing now and again obviously excessive plowing is not a good thing but periodically why not there we go lovely stuff well yes yeah, so i shall continue on with this and uh, we are coming to the end of november uh what i shall do is pick up um i've got to complete the contract on field 52 which is just over there just the other side of the road over that way so we'll complete that one. All those bales we are saving for ourselves now. Because uh, I want to use those for animals. Definitely cows. Uh, potentially sheep or something as well. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, so we're definitely going to save all the ones off of... I'm going to lower it. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to save all the bales that we get off of that particular field. And since we've got that massive windrower, I am very tempted to pick up that contract for field 52, I think it was. Let's check. Because I kind of, that would be a handy, oh, f field 51. Okay, we've got 52, so it's field 51. It is a um, tedding, uh, a hay contract. And how many others? Yeah, 48... And 46. And 44. Uh, in fact, yeah. 44, 45, 46, 48, and 51 are all hay contracts. Let's have one last quick look at the fields. So, uh, let's see. 41 is there. Uh, 42, 48. Uh, that's 51 there, all the way down there, uh, 51, or was it, I, I can't even remember, 49, I think that might have been one, actually, 47's there, 44's there, 46 is, they are literally all around our farm, so I think we're going to get those, um, particularly this one on 51, because, I mean, quite frankly, why not? We got that nice tasty tedder. In fact, I'm going to get it right now, I think. Uh, we've got that nice tasty tedder. So, uh, not tedder, uh, windrower. So, if I accept that one, then uh, we can rock on with that at a later date. And, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, we can rock on with that. I'll probably do it off camera. Might do it as a montage at the beginning of next episode we shall see um, but uh, yeah I think that's definitely worth doing while they are available because you know it's not going to hurt to have the hay the hay will definitely be very useful for us in the long run some of it obviously will sell some of it I think will keep 
uh, but we'll see how we go. And uh, with that, I think we are pretty much done for today's episode, or this week's episode, or whatever. however these are rolling out as they do. <laughs> so yes, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, do please give us a like, and uh, consider hitting the old subscribe button there too, if you have not already. And our uh, comments are always welcomed, and if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, we are going to rock on with this uh, weeding here, and hopefully we'll see you all again next time. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>